Hey guys! So I apologize that you didn't get to accompany me on my trip um, last week. Um, however, there were some scheduling changes and things got kind of rushed, so um, you didn't miss much. Um, and let's see, as far as other news, um, I did speak with um, my IVF clinic about sort of what our next steps would be. Um, I had some, well, I've always had some kidney issues. Um, I was diagnosed with interstitial cystitis, um, oh goodness, probably 12 years ago now. Makes me feel old. Um, and um, on top of that, I've had kidney stones before, and so um, I wasn't surprised that about two weeks ago now, um, I developed some further issues, um, probably stemming from all that, from the, the hormone drop, um, and from the hormones that, you know, were used during IVF, and because of that, I reached out to um, my IVF clinic just to kind of ask them what the next steps would be, and then to speak with my doctor um, about my particular plan for going forward. Um, so. Basically, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and kind of let you know what's going on. Um, first of all, I did start my period, um, I guess, probably on Sunday of this week. Um, I spoke with my doctor about that. He said that this is more of like a body, the body kind of um, reprogramming itself, um, continue shedding the, the lining and, and making itself new to get ready for a real cycle. Um, when that next cycle starts, I'm going to begin on estrogen um, patches, and then we will um, transfer, we've decided, two, our two remaining um, M babies, and, um, and then follow that with progesterone suppositories, um, like we did with our first round. Um, so having said that, I'm a little bit concerned about the estrogen um, just because of the kidney issues. I spoke with him, with the doctor about transferring one versus two. Um, and as I talked about last time, um, I spoke with you guys. Um, he confirmed that yes, you know, transferring to obviously increases the odds of pregnancy, but he said that that it did nothing to decrease um, the odds of a live birth. Um, it only increased the odds of um, of becoming pregnant with twins. Um, he didn't advise really one way or the other whether to transfer one or two he had been pretty adamant that we only transfer one to begin with um, but he said this go round that transferring two um, he you know could completely understand why we would choose to do that um, so that is our plan and um, on my next cycle we'll go ahead and get that ball rolling um, so today I went in and I had my HCG blood test to um, determine if I'm at negative. Um, they said that, you know, because I had started my new cycle that, you know, most likely I was, um, but just to be sure. So I should be hearing back from them pretty soon. They usually call between 1230 and 1 and it's 1236 now. Um, and so that's really all of our IVF um, pregnancy updates. Um, I will say that I've gotten a lot of support from you guys. Um, yeah, a lot of people have reached out to me and said, you know, that they admire my faith and to, you know, keep my head up and um, in going forward and um, that they have been they have been touched by our story on here and, and just our faith and um, I don't think I can express how much that means to me and helps my faith um, because a lot of my morning devotions that I've been doing um, over the past couple of weeks have really centered on um, the fact that that God 
uses you um, during, you know, he can use the bad and turn it to good, just like it says in Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, I believe. Um, and so I thank you all for that. Um, I have certainly needed encouragement. This has not been an easy time, obviously. Um, but I wanted to share with you before I left today, um, I, I'm sure most of you have heard of Jesus Calling by Sarah, I want to say her last name is Young. Um, a follow-up to that is Jesus Today. And um, I happen to have the Jesus Today little desk calendar. And um, when I worked full-time, I had this on my desk and it really helped me helped me every day. It was a good thing to have on my desk um, to get a little bit of Jesus during the day. And um, obviously they're, they're daily, so they're dated. And today is June 15th. So I wanted to read with you what June 15th's um, little devotion was. Um, if you're not familiar with Jesus Calling, it's, um, it's a devotional that's written as if Jesus is speaking directly to you. Um, and it's, it's relatively controversial, um, but having read the background of the author and why she does it this way, um, all of it is scripturally based. So, um, it's as if you're reading some passages in the Bible and then you're turning those around to say, like, God is saying those things to you. Since the Bible is God's word, I don't see a problem with doing this. It's not putting words in his mouth because it is his word. Um, it's just sort of written um, so that it's in first person. Um, but today's was especially appropriate um, for what I'm walking through right now, what Craig and I are walking through. And, um, and I wanted to share it with you for anyone that's, um, that's currently going through something similar or um, who's just dealing with infertility um, in general, or or something further. Um, I have a very dear friend who uh, suffered a stroke, and she is moving forward at a miraculous pace. Her whole recovery has been nothing short of inspiring and miraculous. And um, and I think even when the miraculous takes place in our lives. Um, there are still times when we get discouraged, when we um, when we doubt, and um, so this this passage was perfect for that. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, and again, this is in the first person, as if Jesus was um, was speaking directly to you. And uh, usually, it gives some scripture references, and I'll share those with you as well. But it says, "I myself go before you and will be with you." So do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. I, your loving Savior, am also infinite God. I am omnipresent, present everywhere at once. This makes it possible for me to go ahead of you, opening up the way without ever leaving your side. The promise of my presence is for all time. No matter where you go or what circumstances you encounter, I will be with you. This is the basis of your courage and confidence. Though fear and discouragement may sometimes slink into your heart, this is not their rightful home. Your heart is my dwelling place, and those hurtful emotions are not from me. In fact, my perfect love casts out fear. So check your heart from time to time to see if fear and discouragement are loitering there. If you discover those unwelcome intruders, ask the Holy Spirit to function as a bouncer and boot them out. Then encourage yourself with my promise to go before you and be with you and let my perfect love renew your hope. And I just thought that, that was really encouraging um, and really inspiring. If you hear my dogs, I'm very sorry. The, um, the landscaping company is here and the dogs do not like when they mow the grass. Um, the scripture references that Jesus today gives for um, 
for that are Deuteronomy 31.8, which says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never forsake you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Um, it also says Ephesians 3, 16 through 17. I pray that out of the glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And finally, 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves punishment and the one who fears is not perfected in love. So, I hope that is a little bit of encouragement and inspiration for you guys today. Um, again, I thank you for my prayer, for the prayers that you've prayed for me, for the encouragement that you've given me. Um, and I look forward to speaking with you all very soon. My, um, my grandmother is coming into town um, next week from New Jersey, so I'm really excited to get to spend a week with her. Um, if you don't hear from me next week, that is why. Um, she and I have been best friends since I was a baby, um, and she took care of me um, a lot while my mom was in um, law school. And um, so we've just always been really tight-knit and so if you don't hear from me next week that's where I am um, I will definitely be keeping in touch with you um, prior to the next step in IVF world um, anyway I will let you guys go and I will talk with you real soon hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your week a great weekend and um, big prayers and lots of love for all of you. Bye.